And that's what it looks like at full flame. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make an amazing stove using a tea bowl. Stay tuned. Some time ago, I was shopping at our thrift store, and I came upon a Ziploc bag full of these tea balls. Uh, they're stainless steel. They've got a little bit of a chain on them, of course. It's to put loose tea in, and then you dunk it into your tea, and you let it steep there. It's got a little hook and a chain uh, to hang it on the edge of your mug. But I was thinking about a way that I could use this in the outdoors for something perhaps a little different. I'm going to show you that right now. So the first thing you need to do once you get your large tea ball, and this is the 2.1 inch size, and I'll make sure and put a link to one down in the description box below. But it's got this hook on it and this chain. So what I did is I took a second chain from a T-ball and you could use anything that will work, a length of wire or whatever, put a little hook on it. I just happened to have two T-balls so I used the chain from the other and I hooked it into this hinge and just crimped it right there. So crimped that together so that it would uh, make me a double chain just like that. So I can hang it like so. The next thing you want to get is you want to get some of this house insulation. And this is just your standard pink fiberglass insulation. And you want to tear off a good part of it. Of course, this will make you itchy, so do be careful. But you want to get enough that you can make somewhat of a ball out of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stuff it inside. This opens up using this little lever here. Open the ball up, and we're going to stuff the insulation inside of this stainless steel ball. You have to work it around a little bit. You want it to be pretty full. You want it to be pretty tight. And you're going to have to work this around with your fingers a little. Get it in there. I suppose if you wanted to, you could take some out of your attic or uh, somewhere else if you really needed to get some and didn't want to buy any because you don't need a whole lot. Again, just enough to fill this T-ball so that you can close it. And then when you push this shut like this, snaps on there and now it's full of your uh, insulation and that's going to help hold in our fuel. Next I like to use these little bottles here. This is from a sports drink and I put alcohol in here. This is not rubbing alcohol, uh, it's not an isopropyl alcohol, but it's a denatured alcohol and this is very important because it is specifically made for fuel for stoves and this is a much cleaner burning fuel. I would encourage you not to use the heat that is a fuel line cleaner comes in the yellow or red bottles that's very toxic so I prefer denatured alcohol and it is as I said made for stoves. You're also going to want to get three of these very thin tent pegs and you could make these out of wire if you wish they're not very long but it's really nice because you can carry these in your kit you can use this for your shelter but it also serves another purpose as I'll show you here in just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to take our three tent pegs and we're going to place them in a triangular shape with the ends pointing in and this is to support our cup. As you can see, just like that. So that makes our pot support. The next thing we want to do is we want to pour some alcohol into our tea ball and it'll be soaked up by the insulation. Now I have mixed some iodized table salt in with the alcohol and that helps it become visible in the daylight. Otherwise the flame is really hard to see. So this is pretty easy to do. You just pour it in there. It will hold quite a bit. Uh, maybe about half a bottle. And uh, you'll see if it starts to drip out just a little bit on the back side down here under the bottom once it soaks in. But it will hold quite a bit. So we keep pouring it until we get just a little bit out the bottom. Until it's full. Next we take our tea ball that's soaked with the alcohol and we start attaching the hooks at the top like this and bring the other one around. Make sure that it's hanging on opposite sides of each other and that it is properly balanced on top of the tent pegs. You want to adjust all of this just like this before you light it. Now that we have our stove arranged and the tea ball filled with alcohol, we go ahead and light it. It doesn't take a whole lot to light it and within short order 
it begins to burn. Now, this tea bowl full of alcohol will burn about eight minutes, and it's enough to get a decent little boil on our stove. Because it's an entire ball of flame, it's quite difficult to blow out. So it's pretty wind resistant. So we checked the time and it's just a little over three minutes and we've already got bubbles coming in from the bottom. All right, as you can see, about five and a half minutes and we have a really good rolling boil. So this is 12 ounces of water and it takes about five and a half minutes to get this to a full rolling boil. Of course, your wind conditions, altitude and all of that's going to play a role. But uh, this, is, uh, this is what it will do for you. And of course, you learn to gauge how much fuel you put in the fuel bowl by how much water you have and how long you want it to burn because you're going to have to basically let this burn out. Uh, of course, you can try to blow it out, but it is fairly wind resistant. So you just want to meter the amount of fuel you put in. But it's lightweight, it's cheap, it's very easy to put together, and I think this is a hack that you all will enjoy. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the down arrow. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.